All right, we're in it for a treat today, guys. I'm over here at Little Dealer, Little Prices in Mesa, Arizona. It's kind of a homecoming for me because I used to work here about 21 years ago. So it's fun to come back. But we're going to be looking at a 2022 Imagine travel trailer from Grand Design. And the owners that are buying this asked me to take a look at it real fast. Uh, it's brand new. And uh, this is a Grand Design product, so it should be good. Hopefully they've, they've upped their game a little bit. Now some of my viewers might remember that we did have an issue with a grand design that was maybe a year old, but I'm gonna hope, I'm gonna hope. I'm hoping for the best on this one, and I, I expect the best, right? Grand Design's a good company. But let's get on the roof, take a look at the roof, and see what we, we can find. Well, so what we'll do is go ahead and use the existing ladder. That way we can test the ladder out. Looks like you can kind of see it's textured. This is a TPO roof. Is it? Ooh, I don't know. That's a weird texture to it. Well, this looks like a TPO roof. Doesn't stretch. I don't think it's PVC because I can feel it. And if I give the reveal, you guys aren't going to be happy with what I see and what you see. So right off the bat, we can kind of see the roof is loose and that's not a good thing that we want on this that means this probably needs to be redone it's bubbled pretty bad up here too uh, okay to say that's disheartening is uh, an understatement I'm going to continue with the inspection but that's not good news. So if you look at the slide out roof, it's also the same roof material and it's also not stuck down very well either. Which means they're gonna puddle water on the roof pretty bad. Oof, that's really disheartening. It's really disheartening. Well, if there's any good news, let's see. Seal, it looks good. Now, this is not Dicor. This is going to be a new sealant. Huh. Let's find out which one it is. I'll hopefully put it in the notes. This is not Dicor. It's much more rubbery, like silicone. But it is self-leveling. Yeah. Okay. We'll walk the rear cap. Not loose there, it's sealed well, but man, I can't get over this. It's not good. This edge right here, sealant looks good and intact. Oh, there's two slide outs on this one. This one's not in the sun, so maybe it doesn't have as much problems. Nah, I just can't see it as well. It's still loose there. Well, the sewer vent looks fine. I like this sealant. It's really good sealant. To find out who's using what, what they're using on this. The Mineguard Air 360 is going to be your TV antenna. That looks good. This rear vent sealed down very nicely. Oh, that looks bad. Let's go ahead and check the roof AC. Make sure it's not le loose. And it's not. We'll walk up over here. This sealant looks really good. That sealant looks really good. That roof is really loose. Skylight, again, looks really good. But the roof itself is really quite loose. Solar panel up here. Everything's looking good on it. Okay, but man, this roof is loose like I couldn't believe. Now this is going to be an attic vent, so it's not a sewer vent, it just vents the, the roof itself. More of a gimmick, there's not really enough um, air, air movement to actually do too much, but it does let the roof dry out over time in storage. Ideally you'd have one in the front and the one in the rear. Come around here to the front, this one has two ACs on it, that's a nice feature. The AC's not loose, so that's pretty good. Uh, see the roof's nice and loose at that AC too. 
Solar panel from Furion. It's a nice, uh, I don't know, call it a 75 watt, 100 watt system. And the front cap, this is a fiberglass front cap. It looks pretty good. Sealant looks really good. We'll walk that and make sure it's not loose, but man, that roof is loose right there too. Urgh, that's not something I wanted to see or tell the owners about. There you have it. That was a 2022 Imagine from Grand Design. We took a look at the roof. Looks to be a TPO roof. Sealant looks great, but the membrane itself looks loose everywhere. That's really disheartening. I would imagine we'll get some uh, ballooning going on at the front, which is pretty common on these rigs. Looks like I'm gonna have to get the new owner some bad news. So on this 2022 Imagine Travel Trailer, if it wasn't for the loose roof membrane, this thing would have been perfect. It'd be a very easy inspection, but as it states, I'm gonna have to recommend they have that addressed before they take a delivery of it. Otherwise, they'll be stuck with this problem for a while. I do wish I could tell you guys what's causing the problem on these roof membranes from the factories. My assumption is that, unfortunately, they're letting the adhesive dry too much before they put the membrane on, or they're not using enough glue to saturate both sides. All right, guys, I did do a little bit of research here. I did call up Grand Design, and I spoke to their technic support hotline, and they assured me that this is an alpha TPL roof membrane. Uh, they're just using alpha self-leveling. I think they're calling it 1021 sealant on it. Now, my impression was alpha. That doesn't really matter. Uh, I brought up the concerns about it being wrinkled. I'll tell you, they told me that wrinkles are common and normal. Uh, I think that's wrong and it's loose. I went through the instructions that are on alpha's website about how to install the roof, and it's the exact same way I normally install these membrane roofs. So it should be adhered down. Now, Grand Design says it needs to be loose and flex and float, I guess, so that it doesn't tear. Uh, that does not sound correct to me either, because if the rubber or the TPO roof is, is tearing, that means the deck below would be folding in half, right? At any rate, that's my concerns, uh, and that, that's a follow-up. I don't think that that is correct. Um, you guys tell me. I seems incorrect to me. Uh, that's disheartening. I don't know if I said that enough. But that's another reason why you always want to make sure you have a roof inspection done. Whether it's a used or new one. And you should inspect them at least once a year. We ask an awful lot of these roofs. Whew. Thanks a lot, guys. Enjoy yourself. My biggest concern with the loose roof membrane is that it will balloon and start to pull up from below and start being damaged, uh, rubbing up against metal edges that aren't supposed to be rubbed against, and it'll start to tear it. The secondary uh, concern is that obviously water won't run off the correct way. It could hold water and could uh, cause issues as far as leaks go. It does look like it was sealed properly, just not adhered properly.